Welcome to the introduction of NAC Sports Tag and View. We've been receiving a lot of emails and messages on social media asking for information about our Tag and View. It's an app developed for an iPad on Mac OS for which you can register and also analyze data. It's especially helpful if you want to tag while on the road with your team because you don't need to carry around your laptop. As you can see in the main menu, you have four options in the app. In this video, we will show a quick workflow from start to finish on how to register a game live. So for this tutorial, we're going to focus on register and my analysis. So for a buttons template, we do recommend you import your template directly from the NAX board on your computer. If you don't know how, uh, there's another tutorial showing you in detail how to do that. To start a register, you first select the buttons template you would like to use. And then once you do that and press continue, you will make a name for this register and accept. This interface will look pretty familiar to you if you're already an export user. Uh, so it shouldn't be too tough to familiarize yourself with this tag and view interface. To start registering, you hit the green button and you will press a button for the action you want to tag. By default, you will see all the buttons at maximum opacity, but you can easily edit with the bar and configure as your wish. Once you begin tagging, you'll see the registers that are made on the right menu or the right side of the, of the screen. You can press end event and you will be directed to my analysis where you will see where all of your databases have been created. In this example, we see a white camera icon and this means that the database has a video. In the case that you made a register without a video capture, you will see this icon in gray. So once you select that database, you will see all of your registers. Once you select one of those registers, the video will pop up and begin. In the upper part of the screen, you will find filters. You can filter by favorites with a star, by drawings with a brush, and also continue to scroll by categories and descriptors. To mark a register as a favorite, you only need to press the star next to the register. In the upper part, but on the right side of the screen, you also find the matrix. This matrix works the same as it does in Naxport. Once we click on that icon, you'll see the descriptors at the top, the categories on the left, and each time they intersect in the number. You select that and the video will begin to play. We're gonna select the video where we wanna make a drawing. So what we'll do is, as soon as we're at the frame we want, We'll then hit the paintbrush. Now, once we hit the paintbrush, you'll see a selection of frames that we would like to choose on. So you'll be redirected to the drawing portion and you'll see the tools on the left side. Um, you have the size of your brush an undo, a redo, change your colors. Uh, we'll, we'll have an in-depth tutorial um, where you can go and really explore these tools. But in this example, we're gonna draw an arrow and add some text. We'll select the line size, the color, then draw the line. Now with text, it's really easy. Select the T icon to find its size, color, and where it's gonna be located. And once you have it, type your text and save. Then you have a freehand drawing and the text on the register. And that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments. Or if you like this video, press like and share. Remember to subscribe to be the first to know when Naxport videos are available. See you soon.